We must find shelter. I think I see a cave over there. Let us burn an offering as compensation for allowing ourselves to feast on this wine and cheese. It was a good idea. Shall we leave after with Odysseus? No, we shall stay and greet the host. I'm sure he's very hospitable. Let us now make our offering! Hurrah, 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 hurrah. They sat around the embers in silence, waiting for the host to arrive. When he came, he went about milking his ewes. He sailed up the cove with a massive boulder. After his daily chores were completed, he sat by the fire where he last noticed the intrusive slaters crowded his caves. Who are you? And where are you from? And what brings you here by seaways? A fair traffic? Or are you wandering rogues who cast your lives like dice and ravage other folk by sea? We are Troy from Alpines, blown off course by shifting gills on the great South Sea, homeward bound but taking roots and ways uncommon, so the will of Zeus would have it. We would entreat you, great sir, have greater for God's courtesy. Zeus will avenge the unoffending guest. How dare you tell me the mind of gods? I care not a whistle for your thunder, and Zeus are all God is in place. Now tell me, where is your ship? Poseidon has broken it upon the rocks of the land at edge sea. A wind from a seaward served him drove us there. We are survivors, these good and men and I. Now is our chance. We must slay the beast while he lies in his slumber. Odysseus drew his sword and walked along the cyclops' flank, scouting at the la lever. He swung down to slash it open, and but he slowed his attack where the cyclops was only really tapped by the Odysseus' sword. He didn't even stir. If we kill him now, we are never to leave the cave, my men. That boulder shall remain blocking our only exit. We are not strong enough to force its removal. We shall wait until When morning. dawn finally crept over the coastline, the side cup was awoken. He lit a fire, milked his ears, and moved. And for breakfast, he harvested another great selection of Odysseus's meals he to consume. We then whisked away the great stone. Covering the exit of the cave, letting himself and his sheep go. Through the sea. Odysseus continued to ponder until he came upon a grand discovery of a staff. Perfect for carving into a spear. He and his men waited for the brute to arrive. Cyclops, try some wine. Here's a liquor to wash down the scrapes of men. Taste it and see the kind of drink we carried on our plank. Polysanus took the wine and drank it. And drink. What is your name so I can remember this great gift you have given? My name is No Hubity. Soon Polyphemus began to fall asleep because of the seemingly amount of wine. This is when Odysseus and his men decided to act. They took the spear and put it in the coals. Then they quietly went and approached the Cyclops. They raised up the spear and stabbed him in the eye. The spear eye. seared his flesh, and soon his, covers, his face was covered with his own blows. The Cyclops ripped out the spear with a grumble. The oh. Cyclops began to rumble for the other Cyclops of the island. Oh, Cyclopses of the island, help me! Help me! Yes. The Cyclopses from the other side, asking Polythemus, who has hurt you? Who has played this trick upon you? Polythemus made. Nobody has done this to me. Nobody has done this. Nobody has done this to me. Cyclops answered. If nobody has done this to you, we shall leave you be. The Cyclops fumbled in pain. Oh, removing the boulder. Odysseus realized that this was his time to act. He came with a brilliant pan. Each man tied themselves up and on the underside of each of Polythemus's rings. Each were fat, and Polythemus could not tell the difference between the lamb and the man. Polythemus grumbled with distress, trying to find nobody who had done this to him. Just as Odysseus and his men were about to get away, he yelled, I'm Odysseus, raider of cities. 
took your eye, let her son, whose home is on it. The hulk demons yells and screams for Odysseus to return so he can give him what he deserves. And then he yells to his father, Poseidon, to curse Odysseus and his men.